guys, it is your girl Shell again with another fabulous wig review from Braids Queen. Y'all, I'm addicted. At this point, I got a problem. Like, take my money, give me every one. Call me Mrs. Potato Head because y'all know I don't have no hair, so we just pop them on, pop them off. But no, seriously, they have a short one. I love short. I love, love short. So, let's get straight into it. Comes in the bag like this. And let's see what they got in here. I'll show that to y'all in a minute. Y'all not ready yet? Y'all not ready yet? Comes with not one, but two packs of caps. Now remember, two caps come in each one of these, so that's four caps. And then they give you an additional elastic band and some accessories, okay? Now, you guys, let us get into this beauty. This is their short bob wig, okay? I'm gonna leave the link to the, um, the link in the description for the unit all in the description box at the bottom okay this is it you guys i have such high hopes for this one you know because i'm really i have so many different kinds and i'm really hoping that this one looks like it's i don't know i feel like it's gonna be nice with a turtleneck or something for the winter time so i'm hoping it's giving me that so i'm gonna go ahead and try it on so Let's try it on, no cap. We're just gonna try it on for right now. Yeah. As I see now, it's, it's big, so I'm definitely gonna have to adjust the straps and everything. But as far as the length, the length is perfect. The length is definitely perfect, okay? So let's see how we're gonna do this. Now, it has cornrows in the front. Again, it has the individuals in the back and it is curled already. Oops. Curled already at the ends. You see the ends are blunt. It has an elastic band, combs on the side, as well as a comb in the back and adjustable straps. So, since I have a tiny head, I'm going to move my strap all the way to the middle. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit past the middle. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cross my straps because the wig did when I tried it on, it did fit a little big. And that's because I don't have no hair. I ain't got nothing to fill it up with. And that's fine. That is a okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust these straps. And while I do that, I would like to remind you guys to make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. Okay, please, can you please share it? Show me some love, some support, please. Share my video and turn your notifications on so you'll know when I post. I'm trying to make it a thing to make sure that I record on Tuesdays for you guys and get you a new video out at least once a week. So I'm trying to be more committed. So please stick with me and turn those notifications on so that you'll know when I do post. And as you can see, this week was giving me a hard time putting that on, but I got it now. Also, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned that this inside elastic band is adjustable. So if the unit is too big or whatever, you can adjust this elastic band right here. Like, you know, see? You can make it as big or small as you may want it. I'm just gonna go halfway to about here, and I'm just gonna try the unit on again prior to my installation. So I'm put that there. Find a place in the front. Pull my elastic band down. And since I don't have any hair, a lot of times people ask me, well, where do you put your combs at? Like, what is the combs for you? What does it do? So what I do is I take the elastic band and I pull it all the way down to, to the end of my nape. And I take that bottom comb and I tuck it underneath and it helps secure my wig. And the back so it doesn't flap. So let's see. That fits there. I don't have to cut anything off there. And this fits here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to install this unit and you guys just follow along. Okay ladies, first you wanna start by cutting the lace off of your unit. Make sure that you do not cut the baby hairs. So you cut this as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the baby hairs for a smooth installation. Now once you have the baby hairs cut off, you would like to take a skin color cap, something that matches your skin as closely as possible, and you want to put that on your head. I don't like using caps that does not match my skin because I don't like using the makeup to make it match my skin because that makes it messy. 
Once you have your cap on, you want to make sure you put your cap placement somewhere where you can hide the line of demarcation if you're not going to cut off the elastic band on your stocking cap. As you see, I put mine where the start of the braids is to help uh, mask the line of demarcation. Now I'm spraying Got To Be Glue around my hairline and on the cap for extra security. And I'm pressing that firmly into place. Now once I have it positioned correctly the way I want, I'm just combing out my baby hairs so that I can begin to cut them short because I do not like dramatic baby hairs. And I'm just cutting around the hairline. Around the ear tabs I always cut at an angle because I don't like it to just be straight across. So I go up towards my ear and then on the other side I'm going to go down away from my ear. I'm taking got to be glued and I'm spraying it back around the hairline again to get those spots that I did not get. I'm making sure to keep combing out my baby hairs because I do not want them to look crunchy. Now I'm using the edge control. You can use any kind of edge control of your choice to do my baby hairs. Now after I did the baby hairs, I'm going to spray it down again with the got to be glued to make sure that those are in place. Take an elastic band and tie it down. You could use a silk scarf as well, but I do like using an elastic band because I feel like it gives it a better melt. Okay, so while I wait for this to melt, you guys tell me what are some of the things that y'all do while you waiting for your wig to tie down? Do you put your wig on, jump in the shower first? Do you put your wig on, go eat breakfast and tie down? What are some of the things that y'all do around the house while you wait for your unit to melt? Make sure you comment that in the description box. We're gonna have a conversation. We're gonna get to know each other, you know? Talk to me, let me know. Um, So far, so good. So keep watching. So let's see what we got, you guys. Let's look. Oh. It's holding down. Let's see. Let's tub test. Tub test. We ain't move. Y'all saw that, that forehead moving though. So you know. I tugged on it. For real. So, what do you guys think? I don't know. Should I dip the ends in hot water or do I like them curled? I like. Them. What y'all think? Let me know what you think. Um the link is going to be listed in the description box below. As always, if you order this unit, you can use the coupon code BQSHELL. That's B-Q-C-H-E-L-L-2-0, BQSHELL20. And you'll get an additional 20% off your order. Um, like I said, y'all, this one, I like this. I could see me wearing this with like a, a nice turtleneck or... I'm um, sorry, I'm moving my camera. Let me scoot it back so you can see it better. Give me a second. We are adjusting okay yeah yeah so you can see it now now you see it. it's giving you definitely cleopatra black bites the real uh cleopatra not um elizabeth taylor <laughs> i'm gonna go there with y'all today yes yes what do you guys think tell me for real should i dip the ends in hot water do you guys like it being curled like this um, with this unit, I wouldn't say you could do a whole bunch of styles with it. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's kind of short, so it kind of it's just a, it's styled itself. So you don't have to do anything for it. Um, you don't have to worry about it getting caught on your clothes. When we put on our winter coats and our scarves and everything, we don't have to worry about our coats interfering with our braids or tugging on our wigs. So this is perfect. I like this. Yes, braids queen. Okay, yes, finally. Yes, I like this. You think I should put some accessories in it? Let's see, let's see. They gave me some accessories. Let's put a little, some accessories in here, see what it looks like. Now, I probably would've put like some string, like some gold string, but they gave me these cl these clips. So I'm gonna put the gold ones. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with, yeah, I'm gonna go with gold, I always go with gold. So I'm gonna put the gold ones on there. Just random, you just open it up like so. And then just put it on your braid and then close it. Boom. Boom. 
Maybe I should put some silver to it. What else? No, I just go. Just go, just go, just go. Okay, so don't forget to um, comment, like, subscribe to this video, as well as share it, and turn your notifications on. I do appreciate you guys watching my video again, and um, this time, make sure you comment so I can have some people to talk to. You know, I feel like we're going to go on another shutdown soon, so I'm going to need some people to talk to me, okay?